Uh, hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I've been asked this a lot, so I figured I would just show you guys how to do it. Um, so we're going to look at uh, adding a custom domain name to a Minecraft server, or really just in general how SRV records function. Um, so first thing we need to do is we need a domain. Uh, I personally use Namecheap. Uh, they're cheapest. Their dot coms are eight bucks a year. Dot um, nets are ten or eleven. So that that's that's why. Uh, so one I did real quick. Um, one that I own. I don't want to have to buy another one for just for this. Um, but this is one I just bought, and it doesn't have many many records on it. Um, first thing you need to do: go find your name that you want to find. Um, this is the one that I have. Uh, but I'll walk through the process with .NET. Uh, we're going to add it to the cart, obviously. Wow, you guys don't know how to shop. Um, you choose how long you want to register it for, and you hit the magical checkout button. It takes you to this. Who is guard? All it does is it just keeps your registered information uh, just safe so that people can't get your direct phone number uh, or email uh, just on a Who is query. And with the exception of that, just figure out how long you want to buy it for, and that's all you need there. Uh, 11 bucks a year. So uh, this pretty much just asks who who owns a domain. So if I was to go to rathomc.com, you can say it's registered with Namecheap. Um, this is the Whois Guard stuff that you're seeing on that checkout page right here. Uh, the Whois card is uh, this stuff right here. It, it doesn't have my info on it. It has um, just some protected info on here. Now this can get to me if it needs to, um, but it's not my info directly. So that is uh, the the plus side of uh, a Whois tool is it shows you who owns who owns what. All right, so now that we have our domain and have purchased our ratholemc.com or whatever the heck you want to make, um, we are going to go in and we are going to add some DNS records uh, into our DNS settings. Now you can see I already have two that exist here, um, and these are just for Minecraft. Um, but I want to add one more here. Let's walk through the records real quick. An A record points to an IP address, an IPv4 address. So if uh, your internet address is a uh, what 170.10.10.200, um, then you put that here, and you put a play here, and at that point, play.ratholemc.com will point to uh, that IP address. Uh, the other uh, another record is a 4A record, and that just is uh, an IPv6 address instead of an IPv4 address. Uh, if you don't know the difference, they look they look very different. So here's a chart here, um, and like we see, it, it was deployed a while ago, uh, and it, it still isn't common, but it does exist. Um, everything about IPv6 is auto-configurated. Um, you don't have DHCP, you don't really have DNS, you just don't have a lot of things. Um, this is pretty much how a, um, an IPv6 address will look. Uh, it's 128 bits, as opposed to the 38-bit IPv4 address, which uh, you're used to seeing here. 4As, it needs to be an IPv6 address. 1A is an IPv4 address. So another option you have is the A plus dynamic DNS record, uh, which I would never ever use here personally. You're better off using a service like NoIP to do dynamic DNS. And what no IP does is it pretty much checks in at regular intervals and it says, hey, is my IP address still the same? Cool. Uh, if my IP address changes, it updates to where you'll always have a name that points to you. And if you have a name that points to you, you might as well just do an alias record. Uh, and you can make it so that play equals my DDNS dot no IP dot com whatever you know whatever that address that they give you is um, and at that point play dot just equals that IP address uh, so that's the benefit there the other options that we have um, 
Oh, there's a CAA. You'll never ever use that. It's a certificate authority. Uh, a C name, which you cannot really use for for Minecraft. Um, what a C name does is it acts as the same address, if that makes sense. So if I have a website or something that I have on uh, whatever, stronghold.fun, and if I want ratholemc.com to also point to that, then I can do a C name, and if I put, um, yeah, play dot, whatever, stronghold.fun, that's not how you spell, uh, then that means that play.rathomc will go to whatever website or whatever is hosted on this, and it will show ratholemc.com in your browser bar instead of stronghold.fun. Uh, they're they're a little finicky and don't always work correctly, but that's what a, a C name is. Uh, the other option here, we have a name server record, which is never really going to be used uh, unless you own your domain with Namecheap and need to point it to uh, Bluehost or GoDaddy or something else uh, to make any changes. So name server record's pretty uncommon. Uh, a TXT record is really just an information tag. It's typically going to be like a verification code from someone who needs to use like email in your domain or something like that. Um, the other one we have is a URL redirect, and that just means that play.ratholemc.com, uh, this play is the, the subdomain, play.ratholemc, will just redirect me to stronghold.fun. I can choose an unmasked or a masked. Um, a masked will pretty much show this address in the taskbar. Sorry, it'll show it'll show this address in the taskbar. Um, but it doesn't work well because if someone tries to copy the link, it won't work because all it'll show is this. No sub pages, no anything like that. Um, so it's it's better to just do an unmasked and just let it go through. Uh, the other option that we have is an SRV record. And an, uh, an SRV record is what we're going to use for, for Minecraft itself. Um, so we want to create this SRV record, and uh, you can see I have a few here. Um, so we're going to go as a service underscore Minecraft, and we're going to go underscore TCP dot test. Now what that means is that test should be the subdomain. Uh, TCP is transport uh, control protocol uh, as opposed to UDP um, and it's just the type of information that's being sent. Uh, priority, we just need to put a metric, um, I'm just going to say 5, wait, dirt, sorry, 6, 6, cool. Uh, the port, this is where we get to choose our um, add our, the, the port for our Minecraft server. So it's probably for me, um, I don't know, I have I have a bunch of different ones. Um, we'll do it on 25569 just like ra the rest of the rat hole uh, to see. And then I'm going to point it to um, play.stronghold.fun uh, because play.stronghold.fun should resolve to that IP. I always drop the TTL time to live to one minute. It typically does bump it up to uh, 30. And now, we just need to open Minecraft. All my servers look like they're up. I have already four versions of um, of this server running here. Um, and we can see that they're just all added differently here. Uh, nope, I don't want to join, but I guess I do. <laughs> okay. Um, so we can see that there's a few addresses played out at Hole and C. Um, if I add a test, so that's what I set this to, that's how you spell. If I hit OK, we can see that it updated and now worked. Um, and I can join on test dot, all because of that. All because of that record we put in. The one thing I will note real quick is the address that it points to has to be a a host name it can't be an IP address so if for some reason uh, you're running into that an issue there with with your IP address not working just make an a record on like whatever IP 
uh, or something like that. Just do IP and then just type your IP address that you uh, that you want to run. Uh, this is definitely a three in IP address. Um, so if yeah, if you just do that and set that up in your uh, oops your uh, your IP address box, then then you can point to ip.rathholemc.com as your host. Uh, and that's that's how you would get around that error. Um, you can get um, play dot your domain to work, and you can just get your domain to work like this. This one's just on my domain, and I can use my domain this domain name for anything else. Only stuff that's on port uh, 25569 will actually go to um, to my Minecraft server. So if I wanted to host a web server, if I wanted to host anything else on this domain, I could do that. And uh, these records aren't going to interfere because they're solely based on this port number. Um, so that's some intro to SRV records, intro to uh, domain records, and how to get them set up in uh, kind of a Minecraft situation. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed. Uh, leave comments or questions below, um, and feel free to comment what I should do next. Um, I, I know I have poor uploads on this uh, this channel, but I, I try and I'll, I'll, I'll get there. Uh, so just let me know uh, in the comments if, if you need to see something else, if you are running into issues with anything, and I'll hopefully uh, get you guys something to, to work on that.